Hello everybody and welcome back to Soulbrook Studios and today we're doing a tour of my Lego city. You might be saying, I thought you just did a tour about a month ago. And as I did, a lot's changed. To be specific, these two whole base plates of the downtown area have been completely redone, as well as the front strips of buildings. So without further ado, let's dive in. Before we get started, make sure to drop a like and subscribe so you never miss one of my new videos. And let's begin. When you first see the city, you're caught by the city skyline, which is built up by the four modular buildings that I own. We have Birch Books, the Parisian Restaurant, the Police Station, and the Downtown Diner. Moving past these first modular buildings, we get to this main drag, which runs down the city. This is kind of the main street of the city. And right now, the street is closed off for the annual street hockey game. Before we go down into the downtown, let's just take attention over to this little scene here. The Paradisa ice cream stand is serving up some delicious treats right at the side of the police station. This is thought to be one of the city's hidden gems in terms of its ice cream. I also have lots of little scenes like characters crossing the street and people just going about their daily business in the city. There's also the Lego City biker gang going down the main street. Turning our attention now into the downtown, we have a bunch of different scenes going on. We have the 2021 family house right here, which is a nice set. In my LEGO City headcanon, this is more of an apartment building and less of a full house. And in front of that, we have the annual street hockey game going on right there. And across the street from that, we have Mr. Chill's ice cream serving up some delicious treats to the spectators. Moving past that, we get to the main downtown walking shop area. Here I have a ton of minifigures placed around as they go on their daily activities and explore the city. We have this apartment building slash toy store right here at the edge of the city. And across the street from that we have the Lego store and the coffee shop as well. Also have things like this balloon cart and popcorn stand across just kind of giving a bigger divide before the forest area. Again, I have a ton of scenes of people doing things in this area like these old friends meeting for some coffee the Easter Bunny wanting a balloon, a couple going on a date here, and Naked Santa in the center. Moving right past that, we get to the last area of the city, which is this forest campground area. I really tried to blend this area into the more industrial part of the city by giving it a cornered look and trying to use mud pieces and tan pieces to go from the industrial pavement over into the green grass. I also tried to use a bunch of trees to divide it into a full forest area. We have a family on a campground trip, and if I remove this main tree, we can see it a lot more closely. They're cooking some eggs and taking a nice photo of the mother feeding the baby, and they have their RV right next to them. That has to be one of my favorite areas in the city. I just love how it looks from up above. And that's my newest version of the LEGO City. Soon I'll probably change things around in a couple weeks, adding new buildings and all of that. But for the moment, I'm pretty happy with where it is. Let me know what buildings you'd like me to see add in the city in the future in the comments down below. And without further ado, I'll see you in my next video.